Howdy everybody, it's me again. So, I just wanted to talk about, I won't say like a scary dream, but definitely a really eerie dream, and definitely one of the weirdest concept dreams I've had in a hot minute. I'd say it's probably like the eeriest dream I've had in possibly the past two years. There's a lot more of the dream that I don't remember, like before all this happened. So, I lost a lot of that unfortunately but i remember the dream from where my memory picks up i guess i got bored and i had for some reason dried datura leaves and i crushed them in and mixed it with cannabis and smoked it because i was bored i guess i am sober and i would never think about ingesting datura in any way so i guess I decided to fall asleep in my dream before anything really kicked in and then I fell asleep in my dream like legitimately fell asleep and I can't remember if I had a dream within a dream or not but I do remember being woken up in my dream from the creepiest laugh like a giggle ever and um I can only describe it, first and foremost, it was like, I want to say, it sounded like a little girl, but I guess you could say a little kid in general, but um, not only that, but it was like in a very ghostly voice, like, you know how ghosts usually get portrayed in like movies and whatnot, and there's like a lot of reverb in their voice, and it's really just like that wide, um, ominous type of sound to their voice. And it just reverberates a lot, and there's like a lot of delay in it, and echoing. I remember it slowly waking up to like this little kid giggling sound, and I'm staring up at the ceiling. For some reason, I don't, because I'm laying on my back in my bed, in my bedroom, obviously. And I don't look around yet to investigate the sound, but eventually I do. And I slowly turn my head to the right, um... And I see, like, the side profile of a very noticeably, like, black shadowy figure, but also completely transparent at the same time. And there was what I could, like, describe as maybe very dim candlelight behind it, but of course it's transparent, so I can see through it and see, like, the weird candlelight behind it. Um, maybe it was dim because, again, it was also black in color. Um, now it was, like, completely standing, and it probably couldn't have been more than three and a half feet tall at max. Um, and it giggled, like, a little bit more and slowly started making its way to my bedroom door. I, I want to say it was walking, but it was, it was walking in, like, a seamless way, like, it was almost like it was just kind of floating across my bedroom floor. And there was a point where it was like crossing me kind of close. And while it was like giggling, it stopped suddenly and just said in like a whispering voice, like if you can imagine like a little girl again or like a little kid um, whispering at you, red. But also at the same time, it's like really loud and reverberating and echoey. And it made its way to like my bedroom door and I think it just kind of vanished at that point. And I remember in my dream, I was trying to get up and I was like, I had like my knees like this and I was like trying to like sit up like this in my bed and I was just having a hell of a time doing that because I couldn't keep my balance. I kept falling over and I had to like brace myself with my arm. And then I kept trying to say things, but I just couldn't say things. And, um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Like, I know it wasn't true sleep paralysis because, um, I was wearing pajama pants to bed in real life last night. But in my dream, I only had boxers on. So I was like, well, it's, I definitely didn't have sleep paralysis. But I was like, did I like have like a sleep paralysis episode within a dream?
Like, that's kind of crazy. So just wanted to share that. <laughs> Peace.